Let us discuss the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Parsi scriptures. Zoroaster was the founder of Zoroastrianism, also known as Parsiism. It originated in Persia about two and a half thousand years ago. It is also called as a religion of Meganism or a religion of fire worshippers. The sacred scriptures of the Parsis are the Dasatir and the Avesta. Avesta is also called as Zand Avesta. The Dasatir is further divided into Khurda Dasatir and Kalan Dasatir. The Avesta is also further divided into Khurda Avesta and Kalan Avesta, also known as Zend and Mahazend. If you read these Parsi scriptures, in several places, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been prophesied. It's mentioned in the Avesta in Farvadin Yasht, chapter number 28, verse number 129. It says that his name will be victorious. His name will be Astvet Areta. He will be called as Soshian. It says that he will be called as victorious, as Soshian. His name will be Astavet Areta. And we know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was victorious in Fatih Makkah. And the word Soshian, according to Hastings Encyclopedia, means a person who is praiseworthy, which is the translation of the Arabic word Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned by name in the Parsi scriptures. It also says he will be Astavit Areta. Astavit Areta means a person who praises, which is the translation of the second name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is Ahmad. Ahmad also means one who praises. Further, it's prophesied in the Avesta, in Zamyad Yasht, chapter number 16, verse number 95, that his friends will come, the friends of Astavit Areta, who will be fighting against the evil. They will be well-thinking, well-speaking, and well-doing. And their tongue will not utter a single falsehood. This is talking about the Sahaba. And the name again is mentioned, Astavit Areta, which means one who praises, that is Ahmad. Peace be upon him, which is the other name of Muhammad. It talks about the Sahabas, that the companions of the Prophet will be good people. They'll be well thinking, speaking good things. They'll be doing good things. And their tongue will never utter a falsehood. That means they will not tell a single lie. And we know from history that all the Sahabas, mashallah, they were truthful. Prophet Muhammad is also prophesied in the Dasatir, that is the other scripture of the Parsis. Dasatir means thus. And Atir means a book containing 10 parts. It is also plural of Dastur. Dastur means a religious law. So it is a book containing 10 parts, a religious law. It's mentioned in the Dasatir, when the Parsis will forsake the religion, when the Zoroastrians will forsake the religion, and they will become desolate, a man will arise from the desert. His followers will subjugate the Persians, and will conquer the arrogant Persians. They will be a mercy to the humankind. They will not worship the fire in the temple, but will pray in the direction of the house of God, of Abraham, which will be free from idols. They will be the masters and rulers of Persia, Bulk, and the other religious places of Persia, of the Parsis. And their prophet will be an eloquent person doing miraculous things. This prophecy also refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad. It's further mentioned in the Bundai Hash, chapter number 30, verses 6 to 27, that the Soshant shall be the last prophet. Soshant, as I mentioned earlier, according to the history of the encyclopedia, means one who is praiseworthy, referring to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi And it says in the prophecy, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi will be the last prophet. This was in brief regarding Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi in the Parsi scriptures.